Hello students. Next we are going to start with part 8 of 10 principles of economics. How people interact. Principle number 7. Governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. If the invisible hand of the market is so great, then why do we need government? Invisible hand can work its magic only if the government enforces the rules and maintains the institutions that are important to a market economy. Market economies need institutions to enforce property rights so that the individuals can own and control their scarce resources. A farmer wouldn't grow food if he expects his crop to be stolen. A restaurant wouldn't serve meals unless it is assured that the customers will pay before they leave. A music company wouldn't produce CDs if too many potential customers avoid paying by making illegal copies. Conclusion we all rely on government provided police and courts to enforce our rights over the things we produce. There are two broad reasons for a government to intervene in the economy and change the allocation of resources that people would choose on their own. First reason to promote efficiency. When we are saying to promote efficiency, it means to enlarge the economic pie. And second reason, to promote equality means to change how the pie is divided. Let's first consider the goal of efficiency. Economists use the term market failure to refer to a situation in which the market on its own fails to produce an efficient allocation of resources. There can be two possible causes of market failure. First one is externality and the other one is market power. Externality is the uncompensated impact of one person's actions on the well-being of a bystander. As you can see in this figure, the pollution or the chemicals emitted by a factory is providing a negative externality, is harming to the aquatic animals living in the pond. So basically, the market on its own is failed to produce an efficient allocation of resources. There is a requirement of a government institution that will impose some restrictions, that will make some regulations in order to control this negative externality. The other one is market power. It refers to the ability of a single person or a small group to unduly influence market prices. For example, if everyone in town needs water but there is only one well, the owner of the well is not subject to the rigorous competition and thus he can charge higher prices from the people. So in this case, there is a requirement of a government institution so that uh, a monopoly should not be created and the owner should not charge unduly higher prices from the people. In the presence of externalities or market power, a well-designed public policy can enhance economic efficiency. Now consider the goal of equality. Even when the invisible hand is yielding efficient outcomes, it can nevertheless leave sizable disparities in economic well-being. 
the invisible hand does not ensure that everyone has sufficient food, decent clothing and adequate health care. This inequality may call for government intervention. In practice, many public policies such as the income tax and the welfare system aim to achieve a more equal distribution of economic well-being. To say that the government can improve on market outcomes at times does not mean that it always will. Because public policy is not made by angels but by a political process that is far from perfect. Sometimes policies are designed simply to reward the politically powerful or sometimes they are made by well-intentioned leaders who are not fully informed. So as you study economics, you will become a better judge of when a government policy is justifiable because it promotes efficiency or equality and when it is not. Thank you.